I love this G Wiz, and today we're going to be testing out these 68 caliber lead balls from October Country. They weigh about 30 grams and are quite heavy. You'd think they would do a lot of damage inside of a paintball gun. Um, my scale's a little hard to read, but it is reading at 29.9. As you can see, the balls are slightly dented. The brick sustained barely any damage. The reason why I did this experiment is because each ball weighs 462.97 grains, which is quite heavy. So I was thinking it could do some damage. The average paintball gun is able to shoot 220 to 280 FPS. That is with normal paintballs, however. At 200 FPS, it has about 41 foot-pounds energy. At 250 FPS, it has 64 foot-pounds energy. And at 300 FPS, it has 92.35 foot-pounds energy. This chronograph that I use measures in meters per second. So what you were seeing was the balls were being fired at 10 and 11 meters per second, which is calculated to about 36 feet per second for the 11. So we're gonna use the 36 feet per second to get a calculated muzzle energy of 1.33 foot-pounds of energy, which is unusable. A slingshot would be a much better weapon to choose for these lead balls. They could shoot the lead balls 150 to 200 feet per second. It's much faster than the paintball gun. The slingshot is going to have a power that ranges between 23 foot-pounds of energy up to 41 foot-pounds of energy. With a proper headshot, a slingshot is actually a decent hunting weapon for small game. If you're interested in these balls to use in a slingshot, just look up October Country muzzle loading and buy these 68 caliber lead balls. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video and learn something new. Take care.